There's music here tonight. Good evening and welcome to Cafe Lena. Thanks for watching this live stream production from Saratoga Springs, New York. These live streams are made possible by the generous support of the Sarah B. Folk Charitable Fund and by our community of subscribers. Special thanks to our virtuoso level subscribers and lifetime Cafe Lena members. By buying a ticket for this performance, you're supporting independent music and the mission of our historic nonprofit venue. Enjoy your front row seats for this show live from Cafe Lena. All right, good evening and welcome to Cafe Lena. Thank you all so much for coming out tonight. Um, we are so happy to have this duo here on our stage tonight. Both Reggie and Pat are such incredible musicians and artists in their own right. And when they collaborate, you know it's gonna be a night of really great music. So please join me in giving them a very warm welcome. This is Reggie Harris and Pat Wichter. everybody. Welcome. Hi. Here's a little bit of enthusiasm. Yeah. Well, we welcome your enthusiasm and promise to show some of our own. Just an ordinary day No reason, no reason for a fuss And even though it isn't Christmas Let us love one another Just a day, mm, no special 
name. No pretty presents, no pretty presents to exchange. Oh, let's make it a good day. Just the same. Let us love. Special greeting for the day. No Merry Christmas, no Happy Easter. Only how are you today? Oh, but make it a good day. Anyway, oh, let us love one another. Let us love. Sorry, everyone. We're obviously having an issue with our lights right now. We're going to pause the show for just one minute so we can uh, get some good light up here for having these a guys. Adjust? Yes, we'll, we'll thank you for your that. patience. We will. Yeah. Yes. We, <laughs> we always love to be seen. I, I, for a moment, I was thinking Cafe Lena was going like gothic, <laughs> gothic grotto kind of. You know. So, how y'all doing? I would say you look fine, but we can't see you. <laughs> so you can fake it. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> well, this is a new vibe we're pitching for our shows. The unseen artists. Yes, yes. The, um... <laughs> it's must be really fun for you folks on, at home who are watching. So, um, hi. That, that's Pat. <laughs> it's, it's, and, and that's Reggie. We are doing Shadow Shadow puppetry. It's a, it's a, a new element for our show. So. <laughs> oh, really? Somebody says. <laughs> it's like, I didn't sign up for this. So. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. yeah. Well. Oh, what a great idea. Oh, Lord. Well. Last week, for example? Yeah. Well, Pat, what were you doing last week? Oh, there's light. Let there be. And there was light. Last week, I was getting ready to do a tour with Reggie Harris. That's, 
Uh, excellent question. W well, you're a reporter. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to have unique skills in this uh, this one. Well, the first thing was remembering what Reggie and I had done before yeah, with we songs, had, because we had we, we 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 sort of do this uh, occasional thing where we get together and play, and it's always extremely joyous. And there's always an improvisational element to it. And so, you know, one of the things we do is that we m make lists of songs that we're interested in doing. And sometimes they're songs that we've written. Sometimes they're songs that other people have written. And, um, and then when we get on stage, they're always in various stages of rehearsal. And it doesn't seem to make any difference. It always turns out. Because, because that's how we roll. We listen, we, we play together, we sing together, and um, there's always something surprising that happens. That was one of the promises that we made to each other. We started to, uh, well, we've met uh, doing Phil Oaks song nights. How many of you know who Phil Oaks is? Well, all right. Oh, we may have to throw in a Phil Oaks tune tonight. Uh, we started uh, meeting each other on Phil Oaks song nights hosted by Sonny Oaks in various places in the country. And, uh, and the, one of the fascinating things was there would be, at that point, anywhere from 10 to maybe even 12, sometimes 15 artists on a given show. And, uh, and those artists would all be doing probably one or two of Phil's songs and maybe one of their own. Uh, so over the course of the night, people would come up, they would do their songs, and they would come off. Well, what I started noticing was that pretty much everybody on the show wanted Pat on stage. <laughs> Pat would be on stage for pretty much 90% of the show playing along with other people. And so, uh, not being a stupid man, you know, Kim and I would come up and I'd ask Pat to play. And we just sort of in, enjoyed each other and always enjoyed what he did. But that was within a structure because I was part of a duo at that time, Kim and Reggie Harris, and Pat was actually just starting out with Brother Son, I think, at that point. So the structures of our groups meant that certain things, many things, had to be set. And I noticed that Pat was always ready to improvise. So one day, I actually invited Pat to my house. And I said, why don't you just bring music that you like to listen to? And he brought a library. And I had to, I had to run upstairs and grab my own. And we just played songs for each other for about four hours. It was a listening party. It was. And yeah. then we said, why don't we take this on the road? And we made several promises. We said, we are going to always open ourselves to the possibility of something happening that we didn't plan. So we make a set, but we have absolutely no, uh, we have no intention of locking into it. So we have a set here, but we may do it. All, pl all, and during all the night, plans are provisional. All plans are provisional. And we said, over the course of the night, if something happens, it happens. So what you will see tonight is a one-off. Whatever we do tonight will never happen again. Right. And we start with a song that Pat introduced me to during that listening session. <laughs> It was a song, actually, uh, it's a song by an artist that I hadn't heard of. I'd heard of his father, Leon Bibb, but I didn't know Eric. And Eric is quite a unique writer. He is. He finds a way to dial in to the core of the human experience in a, a way that is uniquely his own. Might have been raised on this block Might have wandered here from far No matter where you come from No matter who you are Don't need no ID you don't need no membership card Don't you know you're always welcome In my father's house Well, might be 
child of the streets Well, you might be a rich man, son Well, no matter what you do and no matter what you've done When you got nowhere left to hide You got nowhere left to run Discovering misery has no end. When you need a helping hand, the one that no one wants to lend. When you're down on your, down knees, on your knees and you're begging for a friend. Treated in this world like a stranger in your own land. The chains around your heart are just too much to stand. When heaven's just a word, heaven's just the word. You know heaven's close at hand. house Don't you know you'll find shelter in my father's house Don't you know you're always welcome in my father's house songs has like a little afterlife where it just stays just a little longer. Feel it resonating. Yeah. Yeah. The first tune that we did was actually one by Bill Withers. Amazing uh, writer in his own right. And both Pat and I have, uh, well, one of the things we do to prepare for what we do on stage is uh, we try to pay attention to our friendship. One of the ways that we do that is throughout the course of the year, even when we're not on tour, when our schedules don't uh, allow us to be in close touch, we will find each other for conversations. Uh, Pat, fortunate for me, is one of the best known, best read people I know. And so conversations are always interesting and informative, but they also always lead to something musical. During the pandemic, of course, as we were all sequestered away, uh, some of the conversations that we had were 
dealing with the fact that uh, you know so much of the music that we do really kind of probes the history or the cultural aspects of our nation of the world and one of the questions that kept rising as we looked around and we saw the incidents uh, of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor and the protests in the streets and the variety of things that were rising as all of us felt more vulnerable about where we were in this nation. And the question kept coming, how did we get here? Who, who are we as a nation? And it was a song that I'd been kind of working on, but up until 2020, uh, I hadn't found a, a positive way to kind of turn the song to where I wanted it to go. Because the fact of the matter is that our nation's history is just littered with misconceptions and misrepresentations. Mythologies. That would be the word. Mythologies. Who are we? Well, if we look at our history, we can see very clearly who we are. On the nation, it's all across the news, splashed up in color for all the world to see. Leaders say they're angry, people are confused, so I guess it just comes down to you and me. It's a universal struggle, one fed by vicious lies. We've all been bought and sold for someone's game. It's a mystical dilemma, it's a puzzle that defies our attempts to fit the pieces in the frame. So we stand before the mirror, we say, why, 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 how did we get this way? It's who we are. Plague the politicians, you can blame your neighbors too. You can blame the founding fathers for what your mother didn't do. Well, the answer is quite simple. It's hard to recognize. It's greed, self-indulgence. It's the fear of compromise. In the light of introspection, where the truth is known to be, it's our choices that betray us. It's the light that says we're free. So we stand before each other. We say, why, why, why? How did we get this way? It's who we are. Hey, 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 it's who we are. But we can't change. Take up the challenge, what we hope to be. Reshape the future of our reality, but we can change. Pick up your notion, run this race alone, but we can change. Pick up the truth that we can't do this on our own. It's in our hearts, it's in our hands, it's in our minds, but we can change. Thank you. Thank 
One of the archetypal stories of the blues is how Robert Johnson supposedly went down to the crossroads and Robert Johnson gets a whoop, all right, very good, and sold his soul to the devil to become the world's greatest guitar player. But we should never forget Robert Johnson was dead by the age of 27 and, <clears throat> and the devil got the much better end of that deal. Always does. Always does. So we are all in our own way, Robert Johnson, yes. because each one of us, there's somebody out there offering us something, maybe even something we actually want, in exchange for if we just put aside a little bit of our humanity, a little bit of our decency, a little bit of our caring for one another. If we just put these small things aside, we can have this thing that's being offered. This is called The Devil You Know. The devil you know He's a regular guy Well, could he be the devil When he meets you on your level And he looks you straight in the eye He says he got nothing to hide The devil you know He's a one-man show Knows your every fear Says what you want to hear That anger is a good that grows Gives you new friends and foes With the devil's touch The little changes start to show now Don't you ever notice That faint orange glow From the fires below Creeping in your soul We're all We're all going down to the crossroads And don't you get burned, there's still time to turn from the devil The devil you know The devil you know his fine print is the finest Hold on to your wallet Cause the numbers are falling And it's all coming up a big minus Sneaking up behind us The devil you know The game that he's playing He's a man of his word, long as you haven't heard most of what he's been saying. The predator always praying. Can't you feel the beads of sweat pouring off your brow? Like the tears of your better angels now, praying so hard for you to turn around. We're all get burned there's still time to turn from the devil the devil you know
the devil you know tells a real good story about us and them and remember when all for the greater glory all the points he's scoring the devil you know wants to take up your time well he ain't the first the last or the worst of the devils of his kind so don't you pay him no mind with the devil's touch the little changes start to show don't you ever notice that faint orange glow from the fires below creeping in your soul? We're all going down to the crossroads, we surely are. We're all going down to the crossroads. And don't you get burned, there's still time to turn from the devil. Well, he feels like a friend, and that's why you bend towards the devil. Don't you get burned? There's still time to turn from the devil. The devil.